Hello, um, I just wanted to make this video about the two assignments that are due uh, by this Sunday. Let's see. All right, so the year 11 decision and big picture and game plan due. Um, I know some of you had to leave because you had other things going on and most of you were there, but uh, if you still have doubts, you can watch this. Uh, so let me explain to you about this big picture and game plan. And before I do that, <coughs> sorry, I just want to remind you that the orange is for new students only like this. And the blue is for both you know, new and old students, for everyone basically. Okay, so this is what is coming up in the next um, you know, two, three days. All right, so let's go to big picture and game plan uh, okay so big picture is right here four to seven pages and these are all the decisions that you guys have to make um, so what this is big picture just like the name suggests is trying to give you an overview of what the game is about so you have all these decisions so use a table or bullets to briefly discuss the pros and cons of the decisions. Okay, all the decisions. <clears throat> so let me explain you, give an example. So let's say one of the decision is to, let's say increase uh, production. So the pro of that would be you would have more quantity to sell. And the con of that would be if it's not sold, then you'd be stuck with that. Another example is if you were to, let's say, increase quality of your shoes. <clears throat> now, if you increase quality, guess what happens? The cost goes up. So the pros is, you know, you have a better quality shoe, but the con is the cost going up. So you need to go through all the decisions that are in the game and look at the pros and cons of these. So you could have like a table. So you talk about the decision pros and cons, so three columns, or you could just have the decision, then bullets, pros, and then another bullet for cons, okay? Whatever way works better for you, do that. And this paper is not about strategy. This is, do not discuss your strategy, okay? The, the game plan is not about strategy. The big picture is not about strategy. The game plan is. So no strategy in this. And also finally mention how many points uh, you want. The reason I keep that is I want to make sure that you understand uh, that you did do everything. So basically what you need to do is look at all these decisions, okay? Then make sure you look at the pros and cons. Also mention the other factors and make sure the point, the paper is to the point. And also the, paper, the conclusion of the paper should flow should include a summary of your analysis and factors you feel are more important. So an example of that would be you feel like, oh, you know, uh, advertising is not that important, but spending money on increasing production, increasing quality is more important. So you mentioned that, okay? And again, how many points you expect? So that is it for the big picture assignment. Then the next one is the game plan. <coughs> Then the game plan is about, this, this paper is about your strategy. This is where you're gonna talk about what you're gonna do. Um, so who are you? So you could be, that's your introduction. You could be like, you know, we, want, we are the, uh, the number one provider of quality shoes or we are the cheapest provider, whatever you wanna say. And then use your SWOT analysis. By the way, I do realize that some of you probably didn't download the uh, practice rounds data, so I'm gonna upload it. So where it will be is exactly where you have your simulation uh, related stuff. So let me show you an example of that and that will make it clear. All right, let me go to another shell. That's where you can see the example. All right. 
Okay. Let's do this over here. And under course content, so this is not your data, but I'm just showing you from another class because I'll be uploading the data uh, soon. So this was the data for the past team, the number one teams in the world. This is the data for practice round, and this would be for old students, and I'll download it for the new students as well, all right? So you're gonna have data for the new as well as old students. This is where you're gonna get. And again, here you got the rankings. Okay, new students, um, your data is not gonna be out until midnight tonight. So I'm gonna upload all the new and the old tomorrow. Uh, so there's no data yet. The data will be there tomorrow, okay? Uh, let's go back over here. So the game plan is who you are, SWOT analysis based on your practice rounds. Make sure you use pie charts, graphs. Then where do you wanna go? You could say you wanna be the number one company in the world. And your focus is gonna be on, let's say all the markets in the world or just the North America market, whatever it is. And then you talk about strategy for the real rounds. What are you going to do? Are you going to be the lowest cost provider? By the way, if you want to be the lowest cost provider, you want to make sure that you do decisions accordingly. So if you want to be the lowest cost provider, guess what? You want to pump up the production. And at the same time, you don't want to spend too much on marketing, but still spend a little bit on marketing. Now, the reverse is true. If you want to be the differentiator, you want to produce shoes of better quality, then you want to spend money on advertising, okay, which is celebrities endorsing your products, you know, so that's what you want to do. Strategy implementation, who's going to do what? It's like you could say John is going to do production, Lisa is going to do marketing, blah, blah. And then if your chosen plan doesn't work, what are you going to do? Make sure your focus is on SWOT strategy and strategic adjustments. And for also each of these, make sure you cover all the production, all the functional areas, which is production, marketing, so on and so forth. And then finally, conclusion. By the way, I keep saying this, a good paper, good presentation is not good unless you have a good introduction as well as a good conclusion. So make sure no matter what you do, you always have a good introduction and good conclusion. And finally, how many points do you expect? All right, so to recap, Big picture is about all the the pros and cons of the decisions, and game plan is about your strategy, and data for your practice rounds and your rankings will be uploaded tomorrow. Okay, all right. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in class uh, next week. Okay, bye.